hello sweet team welcome back to my channel this is sweet ajele and i am back with another recipe with times so hard we still have to eat delicious but affordable so we're making gizzard jollof today let's get started in a part add in your parboiled gizzards to that some chopped onions spice blend all-purpose seasoning salt to taste and some habanero pepper when i steam my gizzards i want it to be nice and spicy so yes add either chili pepper or habanero pepper oh my goodness you would love that we'll add enough water to cook our gizzards until tender when making jollof rice with gizzards always ensure that it is nice and tender to prevent it from drying out in the jollof making process and there you have it our gizzards have cooked until nice and tender so we're going to set it aside and get started with our stew in a heated pan add in some oil i'm using coconut oil to that some chopped onions and we're going to fry this until it is nice and translucent we'll then add in some tomato paste and some more habanero pepper yes gizzard jollof needs to be nice and spicy but at the end of the day please make it to your taste and i'm going to fry this for about five to eight minutes at this point for added flavor we'll add in some of our homemade spice blend chicken powder tomato sauce rings out the bowl add that water and also the stock from cooking our gizzards stir everything together and bring it to a boil once it boils we'll lower the heat and allow this to simmer for about 10 to 15 minutes meanwhile we'll go ahead and fry our gizzards i'm not trying to fry the gizzards for it to become hard or tough in any way i just want it infused with some of our delicious coconut oil i live for coconut oil y'all i so much love this oil because it makes my meals super delicious i still have cooked down beautifully so we'll add in our gizzards oil and all stir everything together and allow it simmer for about five to eight minutes while we go ahead and wash some rice and we are back our stew is looking good you always want to set some of your stew aside when making jollof so that you don't use too much stew okay then we'll add in a nicely washed jasmine rice and some salt to taste we'll then stir fry this until each rice is well coated with some of our stew this time once everything is coated i'll cover it up and fry steam this for about five minutes on very low heat come back give it a stir cover it up and repeat the process about two to three times what this does is it'll help your rice cook faster once you add in your water using cast iron to cook jollof rice is not that easy it burns easily so when you do this it cooks faster to prevent it from burning at this point we add in our water give it a stir and as we all know jasmine rice does not take to too much water so i add just enough to loosen up the rice remember we've stirred steamed this for about eight minutes before adding in the water so the rice is already halfway cooked we'll then go ahead and cover it up with a parchment paper and then our lid and allow it to cook for about 10 minutes on low heat and we are back to check on the rice it is looking good all the water have been absorbed so we'll fluff it up 
cover it up and continue cooking until our rice is nice and ready. Today's special tools goes to Richie's Mauli from Turkey, Manuela Hayford from Ghana, and Yabes Kona from Ghana. Thank you so much for always watching, liking, and sharing my videos. If you would like to get a special tool from me, why not comment sweet himo too or let me know where you're watching from and i'll give you a special too in our next recipe back again to check on our rice it has just about five minutes to go and i want to add in some veggies so we will add in some carrots because it is the hardest of all the veggies we would be using today cover it up and allow it cook for about five minutes our carrots have cooked beautifully so i'll add in some bell peppers for color and also flavor especially the green bell peppers and we'll stir everything together turn off the heat and allow the residual heat to finish cooking up our veggies when it comes to bell peppers you can eat it raw so you really don't need to cook it but remember whenever you add vegetables to your jollof rice you want to store it in your refrigerator immediately do not leave it on your stove top as that will cause your jollof rice to go bad quickly and we do not want that after all of this labor of love <laughs> Cover it with the fire off for about three to five minutes so the peppers would infuse their flavors into our rice to make it taste even better. Just look at our rice, perfectly single grained, deliciously perfect and affordable. Now garnish with some spring onions, serve and enjoy spring onions makes everything looks super delicious all are invited to enjoy this deliciousness with me if you've enjoyed me to this point i do want to thank you so very much why not let me know where you're watching from or comment sweet Hemo too. So I will give you a special too in our next recipe. Until I see you in the next one, stay safe, keep loving each other, and remember that the love of God and family is life's greatest blessing. And guys, ke unamini uchemi suite mahabotu. Bye y'all.